Welcome back gamers, my name is Pneumatix and this is Minecraft Java Edition with Actually Editions, episode number four. Hello everyone and welcome back. Obviously I had mentioned this is episode number four. In this episode we are going to be going over the drill. Now pulling up actually additions here you can see that there's many different drills but in reality there's only one and that's this one. If you go and click on it it will go ahead and show you all the materials needed to make the drill. So then why are so many of them shown? Well that's because all of these drills are different dyed drills. So you, you can actually dye your drill any color you want. That's the reason there are so many in in this actually additions tab but if you just want to go ahead and find the real recipe look for the bluish one click on it and it'll go and show you the actual recipe to make it now it is a little expensive to make but that's okay it is literally going to be a lifesaver as soon as you can make it i would suggest making one because it will go ahead and mine out everything and anything without ever breaking that is because it is run on crystal flux that powerful little tool that is integrated into actually additions the power source crystal flux you're going to need that in order to power this guy okay i think i went ahead and got all the materials needed it is a little bit expensive like i said oh my gosh those sheep are so loud <laughs> if you didn't know last episode we made the automatic feeder and these guys are going nuts i have a bunch of sheep that i'm going to be able to shear up to get a bunch of wool to make my carpet in here we have seven inori crystal blocks that we're going to need we're going to need three diamonds turned into i don't even know what the heck they're called i think it's diamantine crystal okay yeah dynamite dynamite i cannot say that three times fast no way <laughs> and then we're going to need a bunch of redstonia crystals so let's go in and make all of those real quick and we're going to turn this on and throw each item one by one in front of the atomic reconstructor just like this and then last it's okay to have an abundance of Estonia crystals because we use this most often in all of our recipes. Now, you're probably wondering, how are we supposed to power this thing when you can't really power the drill inside any of the coal generators? Well, I'll go ahead and show you that after we make the drill. Obviously, we're gonna need to power this thing in order to use it, and that will be something called the Energizer that's included in Actually Editions. So, one step at a time. I'm gonna go and make all these little things real quick, and I'll meet you once we're able to actually make the drill all right and we finally made our drill so this bad boy will go ahead and drill out anything it will drill out other diamonds it will drill out obsidian anything you want and it is never breaking so literally the tool you will use forever but like i said it is kind of useless if you don't have any power in it to actually use it so let's go ahead and make the energizer which actually does not cost too much we just need to make two more advanced coils an iron casing and of course some more restonia crystals all right and i went ahead and got all the materials to go ahead and make the energizer so the energizer will go ahead and store energy inside it and then you can use that energy to go ahead and restore energy to other tools such as the drill so obviously we are going to need to place this next to one of these coal generators so that we can go ahead and allow it to gain any kind of energy to transfer so let's go and throw it on top of this coal generator and now we have the energizer on top of this which will start pulling energy from this coal generator and it will go ahead and pull from that and that so this would be good to use when this is not in use and when this is not in use but if we wanted to go ahead and throw the drill in here we can do just that and let it go and suck all the energy out over time until it reaches 250,000. you can of course take this out if you wanted to but i would just suggest leave it in there let it fill all the way up and then go ahead and start using it so what could you do in the meantime while well, that's go ahead and filling up with energy what you could do is go ahead and start making these drill speed augments they're probably the first things you're going to want to do that can be placed inside your drill i'll show you how to place them in the drill once we actually make them and when the drill is ready so in order to make this guy all we need is some sugar some minori crystals and a restonia crystal problem is i don't have any sugar to make because i don't have any sugar cane so i'm going to go get some real quick and then i'll go ahead and make that first augment and then as you can see we can make the second augment by making making some cake, some more sugar, and some Minoria crystals. And then the third one we can't make because we don't have the means to make this empowered diamitine. I can't say that, I'm so sorry. It's crystal. It's a good thing I live close by a lot of water. All right, I went and got that sugar cane real quick. So now we can go ahead and make that first augment. Let's go here, here, boom. 
So this is going to make the drill a bit faster than a regular diamond pickaxe. And then if we go ahead and make the second one, it's gonna make it a lot faster, of course, than the diamond pickaxe. You know what's horrible of me? I just realized I've had 25 sugar cane this whole time. I'm glad I didn't have to travel far. You know, I was super lucky enough to find some cows right away to go and get some milk, and I was lucky enough to find an egg so I can go ahead and make this cake real quick. Man, today is turning out to go pretty well, if I do say so. Oh, I need those Anori crystals. I think I, I swear I just made those. Maybe not. I'm gonna grab some more, I guess. And uh, then we're gonna make those real quick, and we can go ahead and make the second augment. Okay, I went ahead and made the second augment, so now that I have shown you how to make the first and the second one, I'm gonna show off the other one. So we have drill speed augment three, which go ahead and of course make it a lot faster than one or two. Then we have the drill silk touch augment. If you're wondering how to go ahead and allow this drill to give silk touch or fortune, these are available to you as well, so you don't have to worry about making a diamond pickaxe just to have those enchantments on it. Then we have drill mining augment one, a three on it. That means it will drill out a three by three area. Five, it will allow you to drill out a five by five area. And then you have a drill block placing augment. This literally will go ahead and place a block that's in your inventory or in your hand and out of your inventory and onto the ground. But all right, our drill is finally done, so we could go ahead and take it out and give it some use. So if you wanna go ahead and put those augments in, the easiest way to do it is just hit shift and then right click and it'll go ahead and open up the augment window. So we could go and throw one and two for speed in here. As you can see, it only has five slots. So even if you made every single augment, you can't place them all in there. You have to actually choose which ones you actually want. So if you wanted speed one, two, and then maybe silk touch, and then drill fortune one and two, and this one gives you fortune three, that's all you can have. Then you can't do a three by three area or five by five. But the nice thing is you can swap them in and out as you like. So I can place this one out of here. This will not work. So if you place just this in here, it will not work as speed two without the speed one in there. You have to have one, then two, and then if you had the third one, it will not work without these two. So now that I got this all set up, let me go ahead and show you guys how it actually works. If I go like this, there you go. Simple, easy, works really fast, and it took out a little bit of crystal flux, but not much, honestly. This thing is literally going to be your best friend, and if anything, I would really recommend upgrading to the 3x3 and the 5x5. Those are literally the two I use the most when I'm going to mining, especially this one. You might not be able to make this one right away, the 5x5, because I believe, yes, it uses empowered Inori crystals, which uses a whole second tier branch off of actually additions from the empower which we will actually get to eventually here but we're going to focus probably on getting the first three by three augment in there so that we can use that it is a little bit expensive we don't have all the diamonds we need but we can go and find them and we can find them a lot easier now that we have a drill that can mine really fast and that will never break so if you're thinking that every time you run out of power in your drill you'd have to come back up here and throw it into the energizer in order to use it again that can I mean, it kind of sucks thinking about it that way, that every time it uses all the power, you have to constantly come back. Well, there is a workaround that, and that is making something called the battery. The battery will go ahead and store crystal flux inside it that can then in turn be put into your inventory. And as you are using your drill, it acts as a buffer. So as you use the drill, this will go ahead and charge your drill as you're using it. Now, eventually, yes, you will have to come back and put both items in the energizer so that you can go and make another trip, but it makes your trip twice as long by making a battery than just bringing your drill. Now, the nice thing is we can actually make a single battery and a double battery before making a triple battery. The triple battery is going to need empowered Anori crystals, which I've already talked about making the empower, which we are going to get to at a later episode, but at least we can go all the way up to a double battery, which we've used items like this before time and time again. All right, I think I went ahead and got all the materials needed to make our battery. So let's go to make the single battery and then let's make the double battery, which obviously I need to do make another one of these. And then actually I don't, I need to grab some gold. Okay, so here we go. Let's go and do this, this double battery, 
boom now we got a battery that'll hold 350,000 crystal flux that is a hundred thousand more than our drill itself so technically we have a little over two drills of power that we can use so let's go and throw this in here and this will go ahead and suck up all the energy that's in here hopefully we have enough coal we might have to drag some coal over here into that one so it can power this up but this obviously is showing us that we do not have enough power to start powering our devices we're gonna have to start going up in a tier through a different generator now i did talk about the heat collector in a prior episode it was either episode one or two and i did say this would be a good generator to use in order to power some devices so this is something that we might actually look into now since we have a drill that can drill obsidian for us because obviously we need obsidian to make the energy laser relays which will go ahead and allow us to build the heat collector away from our house so we don't set it on fire since it's entirely made out of wood and then if we built this far away we could use the energy laser relay to take the energy from the heat collector and put it towards something that uses energy such as one of these powered furnaces or the energizer so knowing that we're going to need a lot more energy soon i think in the next episode we probably are going to go over different ways to make some more power because obviously we definitely need it at this point but in the meantime i actually in off camera went and got some more diamonds i actually went down to my cave system and luckily i've been making a strip mine down there i was able to find some more diamonds so with that we could go ahead and make the three by three mining augment which i really wanted to show you guys so now that i got all the materials for it i went ahead and threw it in front of the atomic reconstructor so all we need to do of course is make the items real quick let's do this grab that and i believe it was four corners and boom three by three this thing is a lifesaver i cannot wait to use this i'm gonna throw this in the drill go down to my cave system and i will show you how it works all right and here we go we are down in my strip mine as you can see very very nice as i've been making this a little every four spaces been stripping out the mine area in order to get what i needed this was the area where i actually found all those diamonds it was pretty nice but now we don't have to worry about only doing one area paths we can do three by three paths which i can go ahead and mine out right here i'm going go ahead and do that now oh my gosh so much easier look how fast it went and how easy that was did it take up a lot of crystal flux yeah i guess a decent amount it took up almost twenty thousand worth of crystal flux but we do have our battery on us and like i said before if you want to know how to use the battery go ahead and shift right click this will go ahead and turn it on so when i put it in my inventory it sucks all the power out of here puts it right into that drill and now we can go ahead and use our drill for twice as long than we could have in the first place oh there are a couple things that i may have forgot to mention about the drill so the drill works really well like i said when you're going up against some stone but it does not work on wood so don't try using it on wood but it does work really really well on gravel and dirt and sand as well so if you want to go and get a bunch of gravel dirt or sand really quickly the drill is the way to go also if you have the three by three augment in your slot if you want to instead say you have a block right there you just want to get rid of that block you have the three by three you don't want to go in here and pull this out in order to do it you don't have to all you have to do is hit shift and then start mining and it will just do that one block so another neat feature i totally forgot to mention is that these little traveler stacks you can actually make multiples of them and put them inside one another so you can go ahead and fill up one and once that one's filled up you can go ahead and place it inside another so you could literally have a full inventory of traveler stacks and pull one each one by one so you don't have to continuously make trips out of your mind system in order to just put things away but all right guys i think that pretty much does it for episode number four with actually additions i hope you guys did enjoy this episode we went over a lot of things dealing with the drill its augments the energizer and the batteries hopefully this was very informative for you and you have a lot of easier time mining out areas with the drill and hopefully it gave you a little bit better understanding of how everything works well in the next episode we will be going over 
for how to deal with power and how to transport power and how to use it effectively through the different generators that come with actually editions. So hopefully I get to see you guys returning back for the next episode. I look forward to seeing you in there. If you did enjoy this one, please feel free to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for future episodes every other week. And I will see you guys later. Bye.